Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week, and whenever I can, I like to add in an extra or two, especially now that we are getting into the winter. I'm going to be uploading more frequently than pretty much ever, so now is a great time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can stay on top of all of my new videos. I just received my second ever Sip Spy box and I'm so excited about it. I, I couldn't resist opening it up right away. So I did already see what's in here, but I had to unbox it and show you guys. And I figure we'll try one of the teas on camera like we did last month. And then I think I'm gonna do reviews of almost everything in here in the upcoming month. So um, if they sound good to you, you definitely will wanna hit that subscribe button. But here's how it looks when you open it up. It has this little made for Dana sheet here that says all the teas and all the information. So there's also this little postcard in here. Merry and bright, that's so cute. I might actually display this because it's just a cute like Christmas card really. And then they send these cute little like cloth bags that have disposable tea bags in them. I really like when tea brands who sell loose tea do this. They make sure you have something to make it with because if you bought this but you don't have any kind of infuser or anything, you still can make them. So these are just like disposable tea bags that you fill yourself. So you put your tea in here and then there's a drawstring and you pull that and you have your very own tea bag that you filled yourself but i'm gonna save these for a different day um they're really nice for traveling and things because then you don't need an infuser you don't need to worry about like dumping out leaves and like cleaning an infuser so these are really really good to have but i'm gonna set them to the side for now because i like to use my metal basket infuser I'm in the process of starting my very own tea business and I took the first steps towards that this year um, of all years, but um, I sell these on Amazon and I'm hoping that these metal basket infusers, which are my like absolute tea essential, this is like my number one thing I need to make tea and that's why I chose this as my first product, but I'm hoping this will be the first of many and that in the next um, upcoming years I'll be able to expand. So if you are in need of one of those, it'll always be in the description box of pretty much all of my videos. So let's dig into this box. Each personalized tea box has four different teas. I like mine um, to be mixed caffeine levels. Like I like teas with caffeine, but I also like ones without caffeine. So when I filled out my like online um, quiz thing about what I, what I would like in my tea box, I put mixed caffeine levels. So there are four teas in each box. And the first one is green Yaopan, which is so cool because Yaopan is kind of similar to like Mate or Wayusa, whereas it's not an actual tea leaf. It doesn't come from Camellia sinensis, but it is considered a stimulant because it has energizing effects. So let's see what it says on here. Yaopan is the only caffeinated plant native to North America. Clean and refreshing, this green Yao Pan tastes great hot or cold. This one is by Pedernales Cat Spring Yao Pan. Very cool. And it says it's Texan for tea. So interesting. I can't wait to try this. I've had blends with Yao Pan before, but I've never had it straight. And I absolutely love the taste of straight Yerba Mate and straight Wayusas. So I'm hoping it's similar to that. This one I'm definitely going to try in a video. It's called Chai Me at Home by One Stripe Chai Company. And I love the packaging. The flowers are so pretty, aren't they? It has these beautiful white flowers. It has Assam CTC black tea. I don't know what the CTC refers to. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to find more information but uh, green cardamom, black peppercorn, and ginger. So it seems kind of simple and all things I really like in that. So I'm sure I'll love this one as well. So two for two so far of things that sound really good to me. 
This one I'm especially excited about. It's by the brand August Uncommon Tea. And I have had my eye on them for a while, really wanting to try their teas. And now is my opportunity. This one is called Psycho Candy. They have all these really interesting names. So they're all kind of like dark and, and uh, like intriguing, I guess. And this sounds amazing. It says, darkly sweet rooibos with pumpkin and caramel, and it's an herbal tea. So this one is my caffeine-free one. So again, three for three. And that brings us to the one I wanna to try today. This one sounds incredible. It's by Fava Tea Company, and it's called Pistachio Tort, and it's a black tea. I love that these boxes from Sip Spy like give you enough tea to like really get a good like taste of it. You know what I mean? It's not just like one cup of tea or like two cups of tea. It's always enough for like three or four or five cups of tea. Like it's enough to like really, really like give it a good try. Cause you know, sometimes you'll try a tea once and you really like it and then you try it again and you're like, mm, I'm not sure. Or vice versa. Sometimes I try a tea and I'm like, uh, I'd probably pass on this one. But then I'll try it a little later and then I'll end up loving it. So it's definitely nice to be able to get a bunch of cups out of each new tea that you get. So let's go ahead and get this one steeping and then we could check out the ingredients and everything. So I'm gonna make it in this glass cup with my metal basket infuser. I like that this one is resealable too. I think actually all of, the only one that isn't in this box is the green Yaupon, but they have like the resealable uh, bags, which is really nice because it'll keep our tea nice and fresh. And just right into the infuser, pour in our water. All right, and let's set it to the side so we can check out the ingredients. So it smells like marzipan, like it smells like an almond cookie, which is kind of crazy because the last tea box I got had a tea called almond cookie, which I still haven't tried, but this straight up smells like, like a biscotti or something, like an almond biscotti. Oh my God, it smells good. So it's called pistachio tort from Fava Tea Company. And of course, we'll go on their website a little later. It says, this loose leaf tea is blended with black tea, pistachios, rose petals, marzipan drops, almonds, and flavor. So that is everything on here. Let's refer to the sip spice sheet. I didn't even read this. It says, made for Dana. Happy November, Dana. We hope these teas help bring you some cozy fall joy that you're able to sip them wrapped in a warm sweater and curled up with a good book, or maybe while baking indoors as the leaves change outside. So it says pistachio tort sips by fava tea, has the ingredients that we read, high caffeine because of the black tea, and it says the many flavors within this tea are just like the layers of a tort. The combination of pistachio, marzipan, and amaretto will bring forth memories of nutty holiday treats. So let's see if we could spot everything in this loose tea. I can't even describe how good this smells. Like it literally, this is right up my alley. If it tastes how it smells, I think, I'm probably gonna have to like purchase a large amount because it smells amazing. So here's how it looks in the spoon. You can see just the black tea and a couple of rose petals. So let's dump it out and spread it out. I did see like some big, like what I assume are the marzipan drops in the tea, but I don't see any more. I definitely smell it, but I don't see any more in what I have left of the loose tea. So I definitely see the black tea. I don't see pistachios in here either. I see the rose petals. And I don't see the almonds, but I definitely smell all of it. Like I smell that almondy marzipan amaretto sort of vibe. I love when a tea has rose petals in it. I just think it's such an elegant, like pretty touch. And also of course the flavor of rose petals. So let's look at their Instagram first, Fava Tea. 
Oh, I already follow them. I follow like every tea brand, I feel like, because I have a tea Instagram page myself, so I'm always looking for new accounts to follow, and I do follow them. So it says a specialty, a specialty store that carries over 350 high quality loose leaf teas and teaware. Oh, and they follow me back. That is so cool. Appleton, Greenfield, Brookfield in Wisconsin. So they are basically my neighbor. <laughs> I'm in Illinois, so they're not far from me at all. And they have really cute pictures. The last time they posted was Halloween. So here's kind of a spooky picture with a spider in the background. I like this. I love when you can play with like the shadows and the lights and the tea. Like I love the part like right under the cup, the part of the shadow that has like the the glow of like the color of the tea. So that like golden glow as like the sun shines through the cup and like picks up the shadow. So that's a really cool picture. Maple Kringle Rooibos, that sounds really good and I love the picture. So it looks like they have a lot of cool blends. They have a spice caramel apple blend, really, really cool. Let's go on their website, see what we can learn on there. Ooh, they have a banana walnut bread blend, like David's tea. They have matcha, tea infused recipes, find a store near you. Um, I like to look at like the who we are, like the about us kind of page. So it says who we are. Fava Tea Company is Wisconsin's largest loose tea specialty retail store, offering over 350 rare standards and unique specialty teas. We focus on offering truly remarkable, memorable teas with an even more memorable, fun experience. It's our goal to help each of our guests find the tea that matches their unique tastes and personalities. That was my favorite thing at David's Tea, when a customer would come in and you get to like help them find what they're looking for, like help them find their perfect tea. So they have a lot of different categories, black teas, chai teas, green teas, herbal teas, oolong teas, rooibos teas, white teas, and specialty teas. I'm gonna click on specialty teas first and see what is there. They have some Wayusa, hazelnut mate, that sounds good. White chocolate tiramisu, green and black tea blend. All right, they have a lot. I could get lost in their website all day. So I'm gonna go to the pistachio tort page and see if there's like more information on there about this blend. All right, so there's a bit of a longer description than what we have read so far. It says, you can taste so many flavors within the layers of this tea, just like the layers in a tort. The tea smells slightly sweet like frosting, as well as creamy and nutty from the filling and fresh and toasty from the pastry. The combination of pistachio, marzipan, and amaretto will bring forth memories of nutty holiday treats and the loved ones we share them with. Oh, the loved ones we share them with. It's about to be Thanksgiving when I'm filming this, and honestly, I'm doing the same thing I did last year. My family went through kind of a rough time last year, so my parents let me host Thanksgiving and just have them and my brother. So it was like just my my mom, dad, brother, husband, and me, and I got to cook, and it was so fun. So this year, since we are still in the pandemic, I'm doing that same thing again. And my biggest sort of like big thing I still have to decide on is what I'm making for dessert, because last year I did like a giant skillet um, chocolate chip cookie, and I liked it, but I wanna do something different. So maybe some kind of pistachio dessert. My parents love pistachio ice cream and they used to actually make their own. So maybe something with pistachio. Last year I got really inspired when I tried David's Tea's sweet potato pie tea and I got inspired to make like the candied sweet potatoes. So maybe this tea will be my Thanksgiving inspiration for this year. But let's go ahead and take out the infuser because we don't want it to oversteep. Oh. I am a person who just loves like nutty teas. I love that like marzipan vibe and I love like a, just a nutty tea. I love that. So here is how it looks. It's not super dark for a black tea, which I like because black tea is historically like not 
really my favorite. I like a green or an oolong the best, but there are some cases where black tea is just what works, you know, like in a chai or in like a whole bunch of different things. David's Tea used to have a tea called pistachio ice cream that was a black tea. And I remember liking that one, but it didn't smell like this. It wasn't quite like this. And this um, smells better than I remember that one tasting. So I'm really, really excited to try this. So the one thing I wish was different on their website is I kind of wish there was more information about like who they actually are, you know, like that's really, really cool that they have all of these fancy teas and that they're Wisconsin's like largest tea retailer and all of that. And I hope to visit someday, but I do really love when I'm able to put like a face with a name, I guess. I love when the tea brand, like, you know, the owners, like, you know who they are. It just makes it feel so like personal. So I do kind of wish that there was some kind of information about like who they are and like why, why they own a tea store. Like as a person who loves tea and someone who aspires to someday maybe even sell tea, I just love to hear those kinds of stories. So I'm really curious, but let's go ahead and give this a sip. It tastes how it smells and it is really good. This is so delicious. Oh my God. It tastes how it smells is really, I guess, what I could say about it because it has that like amaretto, almondy, pistachio vibe that I was really hoping I would taste as well as smell. It's awesome. And I think the rose just adds a nice little accent. Like it just, you know, fine tunes that like armoretto sort of thing. It's honestly so good. I think as far as like the black tea, probably was the way to go. I think it's really, really good. I always am like, could it have been done as a green tea? Could it have been done as an oolong? I don't know. I don't think so because I think the black tea adds kind of a rich like depth to it. To that pistachio flavor, it adds like, yeah, like, like a depth and it's really, really nice. It also reminds me of a tea that I tried from the brand Tea by Daniel, who are really, really cool. They have a tea called Almond Cookie Crumble, and it tastes a lot like this. Theirs was more like toned down in like the almond department. This is like almondy, nutty, um, that like armoretto, because I feel like there's two kinds of almond in, in flavors and in teas and things. Like when you have almond extract, it has that marzipan almost like a cherry sort of note to it and then like when you have like a tea like david's teas forever nuts it doesn't have that like it doesn't have that like that like marzipan cherry amaretto sort of thing it has more of like a like i guess more of a roasted almond sort of flavor where it's it's not quite the same so there are different kinds of almond in my mind at least And this is definitely that like fancy amaretto almond, like with sort of a cherry note. It really just tastes like a biscotti cookie and it's so good. This is definitely going to inspire me to bake something. I know that for sure because wow, this is good. Honestly, I want to eat the tort that this was inspired by. I like it because it's it's not like it's not like sweet like it doesn't have any like sweetener like stevia or anything in it i guess i'm kind of curious what the marzipan drops are so there might be some kind of sugar or something from that but i do really like that it's a desserty tea without them adding the sweetener for you because we could always add it ourselves if you try a tea and you're like hmm, i'd prefer if this was sweet you can just add sweetener some brands elect to put in ingredients like sugar crystals or honey or stevia and that's all nice for a lot of people who like sweet teas but for me like 
I, I really like that this is desserty without having that like sugary sweetness. This is awesome. Based on this, I would definitely try more of fava teas. teas. <laughs> I think this is really good. The sips by box in general, I can't imagine not liking the other three teas I got. So I feel like with this, they just hit it out of the park. And I can't, I can't really imagine a better nutty tea than this. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my God. I think this is going to be one that I order. Like I, I order like a larger quantity. I could completely picture this being like a staple of my afternoons um, going forward. But this is awesome. And then like... The August Uncommon Psycho Candy, I can't wait to try that. I'm gonna be making, um, my goal here is what I wanna do for December, which is like in a couple days once this video goes up, I'm gonna try to upload a video every single day. I did it a couple years back and I had a lot of fun. It was sort of how I found my footing on YouTube like it was sort of when I decided I was gonna be mostly a tea channel of course I do other things here and there and I, I plan to do that this this year too uh, in December like some decorating videos like I did for Halloween and some cooking and baking things I don't want to over promise because I don't know for sure that I'm gonna be able to keep up with it but my plan is to upload a new video every single day in December so you're gonna be definitely seeing reviews of psycho candy and chai me at home as well as a lot of other stuff because Sip Spy also sent me something else really special that you have to wait until December to see, but uh, a lot of good a lot of good teas have come into my life. A lot of good stuff is happening, and that is my goal. I'm gonna upload hopefully every day of December, so you guys will be seeing a lot of me. I hope you don't mind <laughs> a lot of tea reviews, especially, but hopefully some other things here and there. But anyway, I cannot believe how much I love this Sips by box. This is my second box ever, and I love it more than the first, to be honest. The first one I liked, but this one is like perfect, like perfect. I'm so, so, so excited. I absolutely love pistachio tort, and Sips by is, is awesome. I want to say thank you to them especially for such a wonderful box. It is so cool that I get to discover like new tea brands now. You know, I used to be kind of stuck in a rut and Sip Spy really helps, so I love it. I'm so happy today, so happy with this box, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know if you like nutty teas. Do you like that flavor profile? I cannot get enough of it. That's, I think, one of my very favorite like kinds of tea blends are nutty ones. But anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.